Hey, what's going on guys? It is a steamy November afternoon. Uh, we are sitting at 77 degrees right now. I've got the air conditioner rolling. Hot days, water, especially this time of year. So it's important for the birds to be able to cool down. And you know, you might say, well, 77 degrees isn't that warm. It is in November. You know, these birds have seen single digit temps and it's just, it's a totally different ball game when it gets this hot in the fall. Just got a hold of my dad. We're gonna do a, a little hunt here this afternoon. Uh, we're gonna hit some private land that we've got access to from a local farmer. And yeah, I don't know. I feel like we will probably see a pheasant or two. Easy, 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 easy. Sage, no, 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 hey. Come here. Sage, right here. Sage, here, Sage. No, that was a hand. All right, Sage, get up there. I can't tell. Sage, no, here. Sage, here. No bird. Still. <laughs> Late hatch, huh? Unbelievable. Good girl, Sage. When it's hot like this, I'll let her have about as much time as she wants laying around in the mud. All right, Sage, what do you say? Huh? There, does that feel better? Did you get cool? Yeah, good girl. All right, let's go this way. Don't know. That a girl, Sage, good girl. All right, where's your boyfriend, huh? Where's the boyfriend? Or son, or father? No bird. Point. That a girl, Sage. Bring him here. Hey, all right. Oh, call that a double tap. Yeah. You know, I think it was a headshot, but not bad. Another little youngster. Good girl, Sage. Good girl. I was going to be pretty upset if we got skunked. Because I think there's pheasants up here. Yeah. 
birds seem to want to go that way, don't they? They have been doing that today. Maybe I should walk around on that side. Okay. okay. Yeah. Hey Sage. Come here. Sit. It's up to you. Whatever we decide not to do. I will say, yeah, it's a crapshoot. Some sit on this side, some sit on that side. So. Yeah, they do. Yeah. Huh? I know, you're tired. It's hot. It is hot. I'm glad there's a little water in here for you, though. Yeah. And I'm glad we got you a bird. Should we go up here and walk the edge of this one and back around? Sure. I'll just go around on the back side of this thicket and then come west. Alright, Sage, where'd you go? Find a bird. Stage here. <whistles> hey, there the girl, Sage. Got it. Got a girl. Yeah, good. I think this is the one we hit earlier. The Springer Spaniel guys are gonna love that, that I keep uh, hitting birds and having to track them down, but yeah, we'll take it. I think that's the one. All right, Sage, find another one. All right, two on the board. It is hot. Where'd you go, Sage, huh? Where'd you go? Sage. <laughs> All right, Sage. And a girl. And a girl. Here, get off of that fence. Get off of that fence. Come on. All right, little host hunt recap. Um, probably should have had another bird or two. It was uh, lots of birds in there. There was uh, some tough identification. The, the sun can play tricks on you. I don't wear sunglasses while I hunt. I never have, and I don't know. Maybe I should. Maybe it would help. But um, anyway, had a real nice point and flush that uh, you know my dad and I both kind of shot at the same time. We'll check the footage to see who got it. But um, anyway, so yeah, had that one, and then there was another bird that I I hit, and I watched it kind of sailed around and went back into another little slough. We hunted that, 
Sage flushed a rooster and he didn't go with the normal, I guess, uh, pizzazz, if you want to call it, the, the strength and speed. He, uh, it was a struggle and I was able to uh, harvest him and put him in the vest. So thinking optimistically, that was the one that I hit earlier. Anyway, uh, great hunt. I will say one thing, it is hot. All things considered, Sage did a pretty good job today. I had an awesome hunt with my dad. You know, every one of those is, it's, it's pretty special to me. You know, I think back to when I was younger and all the times he took me out and how he'd wait for me to shoot. And you know, it's just, it's kind of neat to watch that come full circle. I'm not gonna wait for him to shoot though. I can tell you that. Yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this one and you know, lots of fun hunts to come. Next weekend, I will be out in Western South Dakota. We're doing our uh, annual deer hunting trip. I wasn't real sure if it was gonna happen or not due to COVID-19, but it appears that it's, it's gonna play out. My buddy has a lot of acres on his ranch, but he's got one section that's kind of separated, or it's a half section, excuse me, and it's, uh, it's corn you know, next to uh, some river bluffs. And it's, it's a pretty nice little spot. And anyhow, the past two years, the corn has not been harvested. Last year, we couldn't even get back in there. It was so muddy and wet. So this year, fingers crossed, we're gonna be able to get back in there and we'll be able to find ourselves a, a nice white-tailed deer. Until next time, keep that tradition alive.